Hi friends, in the previous video, we revised all the prerequisites required to study trigonometry. Now in this, let us uh, discuss some basic prerequisites to study it. Okay, not those manner. So, let us draw a right angle triangle. Okay, there we go. This is a right angle. And we label it as A, B, C. Now, if we talk about this angle theta, So if we look from theta's point of view, so if you say you are right here, I'm drawing it. This is the this is the eye which we usually draw in optics. So which side will the eye see standing up perpendicular to it? Well, of course, uh, this is a no-brainer. AB will be perpendicular to it. So we can write AB as perpendicular for this case. And which side will be the base? Clearly. CB will be the base and of course the, hypot uh, the hypotenuse remains the same everywhere it doesn't change right because it's the longest side of a triangle now clearly the th theta is not the only angle we have we have this angle too so let us draw the same triangle okay now we are considering this angle okay so in this case this angle is theta and if we look again from this view and we label the same A, B, C. Now the hypotenuse remains constant because it is the longest side. So we, we write it as H. Now if we look from theta's point of view, CB will appear to rise perpendicularly. Right? So CB will be the perpendicular in this case. And what will be the base? Of course. AB will be the base. So now that we are done defining what are perpendicular and base is with respect to an angle, let us now look at our trigonometric ratios, the sine, cos, tan, and cosec, cot, you know. So the, our first trigonometric ratio is sine, S I N E sine. It is abbreviated as S I N. So we still pronounce it as sine, not sin. Okay, the sine of some angle, so sine of theta, is defined to be the perpendicular. So, if this is theta, the right perpendicular P divided by H. Okay, now in this case, if we take this, at, like let us say, like, triangle 1, say T1, and this means T2, triangle 2. So in this case, sine theta will be perpendicular. And what is the perpendicular in this case? T1, yeah. Perpendicular is P upon AB upon H. AB upon AC. And as for T2, our triangle T2, they're not different triangles actually, but we are taking since theta is different, so our values of sine theta will change. Now notice how. The perpendicular side is CB. So CB upon AC. Good. Now a second trigonometric ratio is cosine. It is written as cos in short and is pronounced as cos. So cos theta is defined to be the ratio of base to the hypotenuse. So B upon H. B upon H. So in triangle T1, in this triangle, in this case of theta, rather, it will be BC, this is the base, upon hypotenuse, which is AC. And as for this and in this case, in theta is angle A, then the base will be AB upon the hypotenuse AC. Third trigonometric function, it is tangent yeah most of you will be remembering the circles part of tangent you know the line perpendicular to the radius touching the circle at only one point so it is abbreviated as tan pronounced as tan so tan of theta again tan of some angle theta in this case it's angle c is the ratio of perpendicular this side to, to the base so p upon 
B. In this case, it's AB, AB upon BC. And in this case, the perpendicular is BC, BC upon AB, the base. A, B. Now, one more thing can happen. These three basic ratios, we can have their reciprocals too. So, if this is P by H, the, uh, the reciprocal of it will be H by P. And it turns out we do have a trigonometric function. It is known as cosecant. It is abbreviated as cosec. Okay. Now, cosec of, uh, cos of, cosec of theta is the ratio of hypotenuse to the perpendicular h upon p now clearly see sin theta is p by h and cosec theta is h by p therefore we can say that cosec of theta let me write it somewhere right cosec of theta is 1 upon sin theta we can write this let us uh, find out what is cosec cosec theta in this case so in this case it's h upon p so ac upon ab so technically we are writing this in the opposite then interchanging the numerator and denominator in this case ab and in this case it's 1 upon sin theta so we can you know like literally interchange the numerators and get the correct value ac upon BC. Now, what if uh, we have a ratio of which is reciprocal of cos theta? Again, it is known as secant, abbreviated as sec. Sec theta is 1 upon cos theta. See, so it's 1 upon base upon hypotenuse. So, H upon B, and we can write in this uh, solve for them. So, in this case, hypotenuse over base or AC upon BC. AC upon BC and then you know we can do the similar thing for in this T2 case, so AC upon AB. Now, one thing is still left, cotangent. So, this cotangent ratio is abbreviated as cot, so cot of theta. Now, okay, what is remaining? We have P by H, we have H by B. We have B by H, we have H by B. We have P by B, okay? We need to have B upon P, that is cot theta. Now, similarly, we can, you know, as I guess you evaluate this one for all the theta, both the cases. Let me just write down, BC upon BC upon AB and in this case it's AB upon BC there we go so we have defined all the trigonometric functions in this video and in the coming videos we are going to do some examples based on them a variety of examples rather than a number of it so I hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching.